And the winner of the Commander 2018 Subjective Reality Deck is... La La Land! <gasps> oh. I am being told this joke is no longer topical or relevant, and most of you probably wouldn't get it anyways. I'm also being told the actual winner is... Hello friendos, this is Chain and Liz, welcoming you back to Chain of Commander. It is getting to near the end of our month of spook. Tomorrow is Halloween. and Best holiday. Second best holiday. And you know, I figured to celebrate the second best holiday, we will not only finally be giving away our subjective reality deck later this episode, but I figured we'd do something a little bit special here, a little bit something off the normal, normal scope of commander-centric stuff we do. We are going to be bringing you the five. Five. Yeah. yeah. I mean, five. not the five, but... Five of, five of, not the, not the top five, but five of the spoopiest art that we have seen throughout Magic's history. Now, before we get into it, I do ask, if you end up liking this episode, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you folks join us going forward, especially if you like giveaways, because we're going to have a bunch of those. Hey, ring that bell. Ring that bell. That way you get notifications on those giveaways. And you know, if you like it, you like it, hit the like button to show that appreciation. All that said, let's get into these arts, because we've got some spoopy stuff to talk about. Now, the first one we got here, uh, this is an art that first came out way back in, I think it was Dissension. And it's got reprinted a couple times since, and the more recent printings have had a different, less less interesting art. But the the card in question here is Macabre Waltz. Wow, well, yeah, this is uh, there's two very very thin people. Look like they've been wasted in a way. They're just covered in blood, and it's dripping, and they look like they're dissolving in a puddle of blood. The girls just like. Really grabbing that guy's eye socket and just tugging away. Yeah, this looks like something like that would have been out of either like the Silent Hill franchise or Evil Within. It's just got that weird, grotesque sense to it. And they're like, they're just dancing. And it's very, very dynamic poses. Like very straight arms, very leaned back. Much more flexible than I am. And they're dead, which I feel is cheating. So they have no real ligaments anymore they just bend how they want but yeah and they're like at the bottom of a well too kind of reminds me of uh if y'all's played ocarina of time the, the dead hand and the base of the well just before the spirit temple in kakariko village is these these guys remind me a lot of dead hand in fact the guy's head looks just like a dead hand it's, it's the craziest thing so yeah that's goopy and you know i can't imagine dancing in blood yeah. being that easy a little slippery yeah just a little bit i mean i slipped in the maybe i slipped maybe in the shower the other day uh, i'm just not coordinated all their limbs are like, super extended they, they yeah, just kind of slipped into yeah they're falling place. and they're stretching out like ah that's the scary part trying to dance in public all right the next one we have uh this one's going i think this is the oldest card we put on the list today uh this one came out originally in ice age uh, Anson Maddox is the artist who I've had the pleasure of meeting to sign a couple of my Tron lands. But uh, this card is not a Tron land, as scary as that might be to some of you. This card is Gaze of Pain. Like, just, you want to go out to the opera, and along the way, you got these huge, huge slits from your forehead to your cheekbone, go right through your eye, and you can see pretty much the whole eyeball, and it's just... It doesn't even phase you, though. That's, that's what this art looks like. Doesn't even phase her. No, she just looks, like, mildly disgruntled at best. But, yeah, you're right. You can, you can see the eyes through the cuts. The cuts that go through the eyebrow, and you can see the eyeball behind it. But the eyes, completely unscathed. Like, the face, all chopped up. She's even got these staples just up top to try to hold it all together. So this is a fresh cut, and she's just like, uh, not again. Maybe that's why she's got the... Uh... The opera glasses to kind of, you know, rest her eyes again so they don't pop out of her yeah. skull. Because they really look like at any moment they can just... Yeah, so it's not, she's not straining her eyes. She's just uh, got her tiny binoculars. It's like the way these cuts are on her face makes her kind of looks like the new Pennywise the Clown from the It, the it remake. So maybe maybe this is Pennywise's mom. We get we hear from her dad all the time. Maybe maybe this is, this is the mama of the deadlights, y'all. And she is not happy with you. 
So next, next, this is one. This is a card that I actually play a lot, uh, especially in my legacy format here. Uh, it's from Shards of Alara, though I am being told that the art was originally meant for the uh, what was it, the original Ravnica set, but didn't find a home there, so found a home in Shards of Alara. Jeremy Jarvis gave us ad nauseum. Like, so, why it was from Ravnica? If you look at this guy's forehead, holding back his eyelids just so he has to keep staring forever. A little Demir signet clamped on top of his head. So, maybe sort of a skull clamp, but a Demir skull clamp. And he's got, he's just painting away with his little nubs. Yeah, he's just been working away. so long that his arms have worn down. The tiny itty bitty nubs just beyond the just beyond the elbow, and in lieu of letting him stop, you think the Demir signet will like, her, like the Demir syndicate? No, never enough. Yeah, syndicate. That's it. The Demir syndicate. Yeah. I think that's what they're called. Yeah, they're not going to let him stop. They strapped on little paintbrushes directly to his nubs so he could keep going. And like, if you look at the paintbrush closest to the bottom here, it has like a hose that just goes right into his veins, pulling blood as an ink source, and he's just like. Drawing these little pictures. Yeah, look like little little houses. Little houses on, on these big blank squares, just indefinitely, for no reason. Imagine being stuck in that, where you have to do this trivial, mundane, pointless task, over and over and over again, so long that your body wears down, your back starts tearing away, your eyes are pulled back, but you're but they don't let you stop. You just have to keep going. And going and going. And that's why you should invest in your retirement, folks. Open your 401k. Get as much employee matching as you can. Chain tip. The next one we have here is... I think this, this is probably the most popular card that gets played in Commander off the list here. Because uh, I'm pretty sure you all have seen it anywhere. Uh, from Avacyn Restored. So heading over to Innistrad there. Spooky place. It's very spooky place. Got vampires and werewolves, werewolves and ghosts and, and you know, angels and vampires and, and 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 a, a moon. There's a moon. There's a moon. <laughs> but point is, Johannes Voss, he gave us the classic aristocrat win condition. condition. I can speak. Blood artist. So if we're looking at this art, you know, this is just this normal guy. Definitely not a vampire. Painting, Definitely not a vampire. Yeah, no. just painted a nice picture. He likes his red colors. You know. I he mean really George likes O'Keefe them. had her purple fair Picasso had his blue face. This guy yeah. could have his red face, right? Yeah, so he's just yeah, and you see all around the room there's all these cups of red paint. What is it paint? What do you think? I don't know. I'm looking at this guy here. I'm just staring at him. And I get this feeling he's staring right back at staring me. Staring right back at you? Yeah. It's almost like I'm on the table. See, it's almost like... He's painting you like one of his French girls? He's painting me like one of his French girls. And I, I have this strange suspicion that, that, that this paint isn't just red paint. Really? Really, yeah. I'm seeing, I'm seeing behind him here. You got this, like, flayed woman just hanging, dripping... Yeah, something yeah, into that. a bowl underneath her. Yeah, it's, you know. It's almost like this artist is painting with blood. No, this is Like he's some sort of blood artist. No, this card is definitely called Red Paint Artist. Bob Ross? This is Bob Ross artist? Yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got his like his his fan brushes here. You got your three inch fan and your one inch fan. Painting a happy little accident over here. He's left-handed, so uh, yep, yep. You gotta yeah, give her a little friend. Gotta deliver a little friend. Oh, and there's like I don't know what's going on down there, but there's something. Yeah, the art's really dragging him in to see all yeah. the little oh, intricate geez. details. Geez, yeah. The last one we have, though. Geez, I could get lost in this art, but we gotta keep moving. We gotta keep moving. This last one. I don't know if we want to get lost in these arts. No, yeah, some of these arts, I, I don't think, yeah, no, no, I don't want to be an ad nauseum guy. I, also, I don't, not, not my thing, I'm sorry. I'm I, sorry. I don't want to have any part of this last card. You this don't is... want to, okay, well, let's go into this last card here. Also from Innistrad, though, off of the actual Innistrad block. This one was painted by Stephen Belladin. This is Sensory Deprivation. This is one of the cards that I think is 
truly the most creepy, terrifying. It's just a guy with his uh, eyes and his mouth sewn shut. It looks like some precision work, and it's just... Mm -mm, I don't want it. Yeah, precision work. You're right. These are very clean sutures. Very tightly done. They have no blood around them. They seem very well practiced. The homicidal maniac who did this really, really took his time and care into this. You got to appreciate a guy who loves his craft. This guy just trying to like open his eyes, scream out. It's really tugging at the skin. Yeah, you know, you know. There's that Metallica song uh, one about a guy who loses his arm, leg, and all his senses into a grenade blast. You have that that. Uh, the short story, uh, I have no mouth, but I must scream. That's just about a guy who gets turned into a, a goopy blob by a supercomputer and now exists infinitely with no way to communicate or interact, just as a sitting conscious thought. And that's this this image is kind of evoking that sort of sense of helplessness, that sense of inability to control your own surroundings, your fate, or interact with the world. And that, that sense of desperation or that complete sense of helplessness that's the truly terrifying thing. Yeah. Jeez. It would be kind of creepy to live on in a straw. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's the most, like, humanish plane. They have... So, yeah, I don't want to live on a even if they do have a moon. <sighs> nice All big right. moon. Big old moon. Nothing hiding in that moon. It's just a completely normal moon. <laughs> All right. I mean, that that said, those, those are five of our favorite spoopy arts for magic but now we want to hear from you what are some of your favorite spoopy arts definitely comment below with them we can check them out take a look have a good gander at them and when it comes to art like the art and magic wizards of the coast is the world's number one patron of fantasy art strictly because of magic the gathering and the artists that they hire are top notch talents now, quite often, they lose a lot of detail when they take their paintings and squeeze them down to these card-sized pictures. But these pictures have so much detail in them, so much talent poured into them. And I just have mad respect for the artists of MTG. All of you got to keep doing what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Just don't get in any sort of trouble. We're looking at you, punk. That said, I think we have... We have a giveaway to do. This particular deck here is Commander 2018 Subjective Ooh. Reality, headed by an, 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 a tomato. A, a it's tomato. headed by a tomato. Tomato head over here. So we're going to go over to this random YouTube comment selector. We're going to type in the video, the stacks video that you all had a comment on to enter the contest. It says we got 40 unique commenters. That's pretty good entry. So let's. Uh, Let's click the button here to start raffle and pick a random winner. And we have... Ooh, old Kanye. Old Kanye! You know, before he went crazy and wanted to run for president. Old Kanye says, My greatest costume ever would be a functional Transformer suit in which if I kneel down, I turn into a car. I've seen some online and I think they would kill at parties. Especially if my wife hops in on my back and I drive away. LOL. Well, old Kanye, that is a super boss costume idea. Totally worthy of this Commander 2018 Subjective Reality deck. Yeah. So feel free to toss me an email with the email on my profile. Or if you can find me on Twitter or on Instagram, you can message me there to get an address that I can send this particular deck off to. To the rest of you who entered but didn't win, definitely stick around. We have more giveaways coming in the future. I'm looking at December, the season of giving. Might get away some pretty good stuff and you know... Our Patreons have special giveaways dedicated to them. So if you want to be a regular giveaway enterer, consider signing up for our Patreon. Everybody at the Captain Tier and above entered into our four-time-a-year giveaway of a variety of things. So thank you all for joining us today. This month has been absolutely fantastic. We've been doing this, what, for three, three and a half months, three and a half months now? Yeah. yeah, something around there. And it's just been amazing i've met so many cool people all of you are just so fun to talk to we can't we can't express our gratitude enough so thank you all for joining us today have a safe beggars night tonight have a safe halloween tomorrow eat a lot of candy eat a lot of candy keep your dentist in business and we'll see you guys in the future take care i'm a bat Woo.
squaw or gar. What would do best go do? Ah, ah, I'm blind. And the winder of the commander. <laughs> 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 and the winder. <laughs> and the winder. <laughs>